I had a chance to go to Woodstock too. It was, it was really I was thinking I mean, the reason I think about it in terms of the college professor was my first academic job was at Yale University. And the first week of my academic job, I had to tell my academic colleagues I was taking off for a hippie festival <laughs> in New York State. Um, and, and the impetus was that, that, that around that time, uh, I, was, I was spending some time getting to know Rosalie Sorrells and through her, the music of Bruce Phillips, Utah Phillips. And she was, I can't remember her, the name of her manager at the time, but he got her an invitation to go to Woodstock because Woodstock was supposed to have some minor stages as well as this big, you know, the big major stage. And Rosalie asked, I was playing Hammer Dulcimer at the time, and, st and she asked me to play Hammer Dulcimer with her there and Dave Bromberg to play guitar, who she was also playing some with then. So the three of us went up to Woodstock, uh, hung out at the hotel, I can't remember if it was the Grand Hotel or one of the hotels, and on Sunday morning of the festival, we got flown down by helicopter. Wow. Which is that's a spectacular great. and unforgettable memory. We never got to play. You didn't play. No, but there is some videotape of me talking to Rosalie and Jerry Garcia though, in <laughs> case anybody wants to check whether wants to do some fact checking on the story. You said you went to Woodstock <laughs> and here I'm thinking of camping out in the mud and uh, Well, no, it was it was a nice hotel, but they didn't have any phones in the rooms and we were waiting to see if our names were gonna be called to get on the helicopter to fly down there. And the, whenever a phone call came in, they'd announce it through loudspeakers out the front of the hotel. So Dave Bromberg and I had to take turns staying up at night just to make sure we didn't miss some kind of <laughs> communication from the festival. Well, what was the was buzz going. when you were waiting at the hotel? And you Did you go to the concert uh, area while you were at the hotel? No, we, we just go to like – well, we they had a reception place that we went to, I mean, at different times. But generally what you did is wait for some kind of communication – about how the things are going to work, at least if you were at the level we were at. Okay. So you had a positive experience. <laughs> it was great. It was absolutely wonderful. Um, it was. It was. It's a wonderful once in a lifetime. Did you? And what did you tell your colleagues, uh, the professors at school afterwards? I told them I still like psychology, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that they should put me in context and, and realize that this is a very serious, as I was telling you, commitment. But I. But it wasn't a uh, a day to day. Uh, life's work. The music. Well, there, there was no, I guess the, the, it was always like that. There was never a, a time in your life when you wanted to be a full-time musician. N not, there were times when I was tempted, but I, I just, I never quite had the courage, I don't think, to do that. And I always admire, I knew, I've always known a lot of, I mean, Gordon's been a full-time musician. Mm -hmm. You know, I know, I know a lot of full-time, I mean, Rosalie was, Bill Staines, a lot, I mean, I know a lot of people who do it, and it's an admirable commitment. But I wasn't sure I could quite pull it off. I wasn't sure I quite had the whatever it was that. Any regrets? No, I don't think so. I was what, able, what? I've been able to play music for decades on my yeah, own oh, terms. People always say it's best to have no regrets, but I have regrets. Well, 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 you have to have regrets. Well, well, if you're asking a general question about whether or not I have regrets, <laughs> you know what the answer is. But 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 about that particular choice, I don't have regrets. About, about uh, and are you still teaching here in South Florida now? Part time at the University of Miami School of Education, my wife's program. It's a PhD program in community well being. Do they know who you are? <laughs> uh, I sure hope so. They, I mean, do they know you play music? I think so. I, I don't know. I don't know how much who knows about that, but I'm sure that they do. You could just say, I only play it twice a year. Yeah, <laughs> a, a, a trick it is here. Well, let's have another song. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. This is a, a wonderful, wonderful song from Dave Goulder in Scotland. It's a song called From Sandwood Down to Kyle, and it just describes a conversation between a have and a have not uh, about uh, life and lifestyle on the beautiful part of the Scottish coast. <laughs> Sunday morn as I walked out Wild birds for to see I met a man upon the road Asked for charity Met a man upon the road Asked for charity Come 
with me and take your fill comfort you will find tell me why you walk the road leaves the hills behind tell me why you walk the the hills behind Time has took the summer, sir Soon the leaves will fall I hear the sound within the wind around your walls hear the sound within the wind those around your walls birds have fled the summer sir they cannot stay behind To build their nest upon the snow Nor can I make mine To build their nest upon the snow Nor can I make If I had a hundred homes and could dwell in each a while, I'd build them all along the road. From Sandwood down to Kyle, build them all along the road. Sandwood down to Kyle. Ed Trickett, live in the WLRN studio. That's great. That's great. Is that on uh, any of your albums? It's not. It's not. Um, Dave Gould has recorded it. I think Gordon may have recorded. Um, a lot of different people have recorded it, actually, but I haven't. I'm... I noticed on your uh, uh, CD, Echo on the Evening Tide, mm-hmm. you do a song called Who's Going to Buy Your Ribbons? And I mention it because I'm reading a book on Paul Clayton, who you happen to have a quote on the, for the author. Yes. Uh, and that song who's that's on your album, it's mentioned in the book because Bob Dylan had a relationship with Paul Clayton, and that song is the same as, well, I don't know if it's the same as, but... You ought to play it sometime and see what you think. It's it's a... Paul, Paul got a... Um, 